rolling welcome back everybody to another video and this is about a topic na many of you have been asking me about which is money okay um let me give you what i have learned throughout my lifetime because dati lagi kami talagang sabay-sabay kumain ng daddy ko mommy ko kuya ko at ako apat lang kami and we would eat in the dining area of my parents bedroom and daddy would talk about you know his investments and particularly real estate apparently i paid a lot of attention <laughs> because my mom really just you know whatever she wanted to do business like this and she would do it her bags and her you know but you know she used to make um bags and luggage and shoes out of water lily and she had a uh, chemical concoction na hindi na luluma o umaamag yung water lily niya and she would export pa to other countries and then someone made her gaya and did not treat the water lily correctly so nadamay siya dahil inamag yung kanila na sira ang reputasyon ng water lily business dito so si mama parang nadamay yung business niya but she was doing so well pero back to this Ang talaga natutunan ko was real estate. Kasi my father made his fortune mainly sa real estate. Building, selling, or I remember when we were small, San Lorenzo Village in Makati, we had three homes there. One by one, no? Nakatira kami sa isang lugar, tapos merong makakagusto ng bahay dahil mag improve daddy ko, bibilin. So, lipat na naman kami. And then, after the third house, we moved to the Smarinas village, which was very, very new. We moved there when it was newly opened in the 70s. Na nasa 150 pesos pa lang yata per square meter, hulugan pa. <laughs> so, ang Pasay Road noon, yung Arnais Avenue noon, puro talahib pa yan noon. Edsa was like a two-lane road, and we would cross it. Kasi yung Dusit Hotel ngayon, dito sa Makati, uh, used to be talahib lang na pag Christmas uh, season, ginagawang karnabal. So, we would cross the street and the fast food center and quad, I remember, were the first real structures there aside from SM, yung shoe store talaga na may butas pa dyan na, ah, yeah, tapos babagsak yung sapatos. Um, Rizal Theater was there already, Dulce na ya, um, Anson's Emporium, a small one, my dad's barber shop was there. So, I grew up in this area. Makati Supermarket was our favorite hangout. My brother's in my favorite hangout. We love the spaghetti and the hamburger steak there. And I remember becoming so fascinated with the gift wrapping uh, that pinaparad ko talaga. Tapos bibili ko yung mga pinsan ko ng mga plastic toys. Kasi ang dami doon noon, kompleto pag supermarket. And mas mahal pa minsan yung gift wrapping ko kaya sa toys. Pero pinaparad ko. So, I wrap very neatly and my mother when I was in grade school would wait for me to come home from school pag yung kailangan niya magparap ng gift para sa ambassador or something kasi yung neat neat ko magrap was very minimal use of tape yung ganun. Anyway, going back to our topic which is money. Actually, our house in Dasma was already our second house there. The first house we had was on Carissa Street. Yung katabi ng San Agustin. Kuleo de San Agustin. And Wala kami halos kapit-bahay noon. My dad was building the house and I would go and watch. And he would just, you know, talk to me about, oh, takita mo yung bakal na yan, that's two inches uh, in diameter. Minsan, dadayain ka ng kontratista, sabihin, two inches yan, pala one lang. So, all of that kind of stuff. Grade school lang ako noon. And then, um, wala pa kami two years dun sa bahay na yon or one year kakagawa lang. May tumawad na naman. Kasi may magaling ang daddy ko sa ganun eh. Magaling siyang gumawa. Na, nangingilam sa arkitekto. So, nabili na naman yung bahay. Which is how I managed to live in Pasay City for 8 months. Sa Tolentino Street. Doon ako unang nakakita ng mga yung sari-sari stores. Doon ako unang nakatikim ng maruya. <laughs> Kasi umupa kami ng bahay doon. And doon ako nagkaroon ng maraming kaibigan. Tapos merong friend mami ko na malapit lang sa bahay namin. Nakikitinda ako ng mga fruits niyang santol at bayaba. So, enjoy na enjoy ako. Doon nagbibenta lang siya sa may gate niya. And I made so many friends na mga batang nandun na naglalaro sa kalye. Na doon ko nakita hindi naman pala lahat. Akala ko laking village you know? <laughs> So anyway, when we finally moved to our home in Paraiso Street, where, you know, well, my it was our home for over 40 years before my mama sold it, just a couple of years before she passed away. 
kasi wala na si daddy noon, umaalog-alog na siya sa bahay. Um, may kanya-kanyang buhay na rin kami ni kuya. So when she sold that, nagkataon that same year, I sold our home in Wakwak because um, we, we planned on building our forever home sa Bandang Laguna, which was our weekend house talaga and could not fit all of us in all our stuff. So I had that home demolished in Laguna and Wakwak had been sold. Then later on, we decided now since we had this already, this condo, so that, that home remains demolished, but I don't know if I should just divide the lots and give them to each of my children or if we should build something there. But we have the farm now in Alfonso, Cavite, which is close to our home there in Santa Rosa, which what used to be our home. And now we're happy here in Makati because it's the perfect size for us. We have two units, but the other unit holds lots of stuff while we live in this unit, which has four bedrooms. So, going back, investment. I talk about real estate because it's really where I put most of my earnings all, all those years now. My father and mother were like this. They never touched my money when I was growing up. From the time I did Tawag ng Pag-ibig to Mr. DJ to Dear Heart to until I got married the first time around. When I got married that first time, my father just gave everything to me in the form of a check. Walang bawas. And... I was already responsible with money actually. Uh, kahit ng grade school, ginagaya ko yung isang classmate ko na yung bond paper, do-drawingan niya, sinastaple niya, nagiging notebook, si Benta na kahit <laughs> 25 centavos. Yung entrepreneur na ako, maliit pa ako. But I really learned a lot about real estate from my dad. Later on, he went into building or buying apartments and improving on them. Yung mga six doors na ganyan, mga lumang apartments, miski paano, i-improve niya ng konti, tapos papaupahan, or building, napapaupahan, or, you know, I learned all these things kasi I was really interested in it. And by God's grace, si Conrad Ong Lau, the honey of Shaja, and my my architect dapat for our new house in Santa Rosa, hindi pa natutuloy, said, and, um, well, he and a few other people like Mother yeah, to Mother Lily a long time ago, they said I had a knack for real estate because I really have always invested in the primest of prime. Um, natutuwa ko nun kasi, alam ko, dali ko ganun, pero ako, alam ko by instinct, yung mga lugar na alam ko tataas or uh, kailangan kailangan yung properties ko prime, hindi ako basta-basta bumibili, ganun. So, minsan pa kailangan mo na ibenta matagal kasi sobrang prime mahal. But, um, yung tumatagal ba? Now, so, meron utang na okay. There's good utang and there's bad utang. Anong bad utang? Bad utang is, umuutang ka dahil kailangan mo magbayad para sa mga luho mo or bisyo mo. Wala akong ganun ever. Lahat ng meron ako, pinag-ipunan ko, at yung unang-unang inutang ko sa banko, kasi dati bibili ako, ng, mag invest ako yung unang condo na binili ko sa Pacific Plaza dito sa Ayala Avenue because I was renting a unit in Twin Towers and for five years yung inuupahan ko. I was blessed with such a good landlord. I learned so much about being a good landlord myself. So when they started building the first Pacific Plaza, kasi meron nga yung sa BGC, but the first was on Ayala Avenue, right beside Twin Towers. I, had, I bought it, hinulugan ko for I think three years. Three years, yeah. And then, um, dahan-dahan yun. Tapos pinaupa ko, dati lagi may mga expat na umuupa. So I had income from that. And then, ito lang natutunan ko later on. May nagsabi sa akin na um, real estate expert na ang lifespan daw ng condo is about 14 years kung di mo titirahan. So if you bought a condo for investment, because there's a glut in condo, I, uh, I mean, ang dami-daming condos, mas marami yung supply kesa sa demand. So, but they keep popping up. So, lagi may bago, di ba? Unlike a house na pwede mong i-renovate, palitan sa labas, ganyan. A condo will, you know, stay there hanggang maluma na siya and some people will want the new condos, I think, no? So, 14 years, um, siguro before you hit 14 years, ibenta mo na if you're just investing in it na ipapaupa mo. Ngayon, doon naman, let's start from uh, the basics. Um... Tandaan niyo po ito, ang tao hindi yung mayaman sa kinikita niya lang. 
yung mayaman tayo sa naiipon natin. Kasi it doesn't matter kung kinikita mo ay 10,000 a month tapos ang gagasa si mo naman ay 8,000 at yung kalahati nun ay luho. Siyempre, meron naman, naiintindihan ko yung ang necessities pa lang, nakakaubos na ng kita. But if you can swing it, you really have to pay yourself first. Ipon ka muna. Um, malaking nga kinikita mo, kunyara, yung iba malaking kinikita, pero gastos ng gastos. Uh, I'm also, I became guilty of that a few years ago, but I went back to my old ways because it makes me more secure. And, uh, you know, from before, like kung sinasabi, kunyari, Mercedes-Benz, but wala akong Mercedes-Benz. Kasi gusto ko van eh. Yun ang personality ko. If I had to choose a car that I would drive, I would probably choose a Jeep. Like a Range Rover or something. Or a Hummer that they don't make anymore. But, you know, that's my personality. I really, hindi ako yung o kailangan kotse ako. My dad was, that was his passion. Cars and watches. I think sinundan ko at naman ako yung passion niya para sa relo. Kasi, nag-appreciate. Because my, my, You know, I like nice watches. So, pag kotse, hindi masyado kasi hindi nag-appreciate ang kotse. So, my dad had all kinds. He had Cadillacs and a Benz here, a BMW there, a Rolls Royce here, you know. So, never ako nagkaroon ng ano dun sa, ako lang yung nakaupo, tsaka yaya ko, tsaka driver, na kami lang apat sa kotse. Iyon ako nang ganun. Gusto ko yung kasya, yung gamit ko, komportable ako. I've always preferred a van. So, I also got a coaster that my son Miguel enjoys now pag nag-field trip sila. <laughs> anyway, so, that's one thing. Ipon ka muna. One thing I need to tell you about, because it is true. Um, in the Bible, wala kasi manual ang buhay. Wrong. Uh, life's manual is really, para sa akin as a Christian, in the Bible, um, we have the commandments. Apart from that, The main word, the key word to everything is to obey, which of course we don't always get to do because we're human beings. We make mistakes, we commit sins, and God, I think, understands that as long as we keep saying sorry and trying our best to be obedient. I figure when I obey, my life is so peaceful. When I go follow, when I forget about, you know, I follow my own passion, my emotions, because galit ako or may excuse me, may nanaket sa feelings ko, kailangan ka. Your instant reaction is to get back at them. I'm. I have learned to just take it slow, you know, and um, not make any decisions. Pag galit ka or sobra kang saya, so pag sobra kang lungkot, don't make any major decisions. Uh, even getting back at someone is a decision. Mayon. Pag pinapasa just ko lahat, parang aga ang ng buhay ko. One thing I like uh, to do, pamer na kung kinikita, small or big, na sa Biblia to, ah, is to tithe. Anong tithing? Nagbibigay ka sa simbahan. Usually, and the utos, is 10% of your earnings. I have really... Parang pag kumita ka, na menos yung komisyon, na menos yung taxes, na menos yung whatever, whatever is left with you, doon ako kumukuha ng 10% na binibigay ko talaga sa church. And it doesn't go to just one church because lalo nung nako nung malaking malaking malaki at laging may kita kung gano'n kahit di ko iniisip ganyan may dumadating sobra yung blessings nung at the height of my earning power I still make you know very good earnings now but there was a time syempre I was younger and I had more commercials more movies more whatever more of everything and sometimes I would have checks in my wallet na hindi ko pa nadideposito ganito na pala kalaki so I would always give to churches na nangangailangan Shepherd my own church, and then I would have love offerings too. And by nature, talagang I I like helping, but I have learned now na tayo rin ang stewards ng parang tayo yung binibigyan ng Dios ng tayo yung magdecision. Pag steward ka, ikaw yung parang um, OIC ng blessing sa yon. So you have to make good decisions. Uh, over where to put that money, who to share that money with. Kasi, yung mabibigay mo sa naluloko ka lang pala at ilang beses na po ako naloko, ay sana maitutulong mo pa sa talaga niya nga ngailangan. And you have to choose also because as much as you want to, you really cannot save the world although you wish, di ba, you could. Well, I'm that kind of person. I wish I could but I have accepted I cannot. But I help as much as I can. Um, 
I still have obligations, but I'm I'm blessed that I don't lose sleep over them anymore. And it's true that when you trust in God a hundred percent and surrender everything, He makes a way. Pag inaako mo yung responsibilidad at yung problema, lalang lumalaki yung problema mo. Take it from me. Take it from me. Wag nyong um, wag nyong ignore yung tithing, kasi utos po yun. It's really God's money. It's on loan to you. So, irespetuhin mo yung fact na yun na ito ay blessing. Binigay niya, baka nga pinahiram lang. Ibalik mo sa kanya. I like giving to Christian churches, especially struggling ones. And particularly my church. And I, I love two churches that I've attended. Word for the word. word I'm sorry, word. <laughs> sorry. Word Community Church and New Life. Okay? Uh, so, New Life in Alabang. And apart from that, pag merong churches noon na Uy, nahihirapan yung ito. Baka, ah, sure, sure. Kasi sa akin, it's helping to spread the word, to spread God's word. And also, it's your way of glorifying Him because He's blessed you with so much. At huwag niyo isipin na yung mayayaman lang dapat ang gumagawa niyan. Kahit sino pong tanungin niyo na sumusunod sa sa utos na yan, tingnan niyo po, miski paano umaasin. So, kahit nagtitinda ng turon o lumpia at nakakaalala magbigay sa simbahan, totoo po, napaka-ano po talaga, napaka-totoo nung pag nag ka, ganun talaga nangyayari, binibless ka niya lalo kasi you have faith in His word and you're doing His will. So that's so important to me, tithing, 10% of your earnings. And then, like I said, ipon. Ngayon, ang alam ko, um, having talked to lots of financial experts, especially with people like Francisco Colaico and our friend Bubuy Ringler, who's not only a lawyer but an accountant, you know, um, Huwag agad papasok sa negosyo. Unless, alam mo, ang labas-pasok ng negosyo to at meron kang money na pwedeng isugal doon. Huwag agad-agad. Kasi maraming stories about, lalo na mga magigiting na OFWs, di ba, pag uwi nila, biglang, oh, may magyaya. Para, sali kasi negosyo to, sumali, naubos lahat yung pinaghirapan ng ilang taon. Kasi hindi mo naiintindihan. Ako, I've always been a conservative investor. Ngayon, meron na akong portion ng ng savings ko, ng earnings ko na nakukuha kong mag-high risk. Um, kunyari, I don't know about stocks, so I get an expert when I wanna invest in stocks. And pag malaki yung investment, hayaan mo na sila, mas alam nila yon. But I'd rather have control over most, if not all, of my earnings. So, for me, that's real estate. Hindi naman kailangan meron kang bahay sa Urdaneta or sa Forbes or sa Dasma Agad or Kondo. Um, alam ko, kunyari, a lot of you, wala pang sariling bahay. And that's okay. Kasi ang pag-uupa, hindi naman pagtatapon ng pera yan. I rented my condo unit in Twin Towers for five years, kami ni Casey, when my first marriage broke up. And I learned a lot in those five years. Kasi remember, it's like paying for a service. It's paying for a roof over your head. So, hindi talaga pagtatapon. But of course, in the long run, mas maganda yung may sarili ka. So kahit gaano kaliit, you have to take pride in the fact na kaya mong, pag may kaya ka na, may meron ka ng um, opportunity, may trabaho kang matino, kahit konti, kahit maliit, one bedroom studio, or kahit maliit na bahay mapagawa mo, marami yung kaibigan na ganyan, um, hairstylist, or makeup artist, or sino man no, na nag-umpisa sa humble na trabaho, tapos dahan-dahan nakakaipon kasi pag meron ka ng ganito, pwede may sarili ka na, nagtrabaho ka pa, o pati asawa mo at mga anak mo nagtatrabaho, may pwede naman kayong magsosyo at bumili ng isa pang property na pwede niyong paupa hanggang lumaki yun ng lumaki. So, pagdating ng araw, tataas ang value nun, bibenta nyo, kumita pa kayo. Uh, at may umupa, ang lakas na hangin, grabe, may bagyo talaga. <laughs> okay, narinig nyo ba yun? Grabe. So, that's one thing. Huwag agad papasok sa negosyo. Ang talaga mga stable dyan, Food, clothing, shelter. Okay? Pagkain. Pero ang pagkain, madetalya at mabusising negosyo. Kumitalan kayo sa pagluluto. Kunyari, ako talaga, awa ng Diyos, okay yung buhay ko. Pero noon ko pa sinabi nung 90s sa interview ko sa People ba with Mrs. Estrelon na parang hindi ako magugutom kasi marunong ako magbananak yung, magturon yung ganun ba. Whatever you want na, like my children, when they want to buy something, Miguel sells ice candy gumagawa sila dito, kinukos ng yaya niya. Tapos pinupunan namin yung gusto niyang bilhin, yung ulang pa. Pero they know the value of money. When Frankie and Miel were small, Frankie would sell turon and banana cube. 
um, either sa office ng daddy nila or wherever. And Mia would sell banana milkshakes pag merong bazaar-bazaar noon sa bahay namin sa Laguna. You know, my kids don't get everything just like that, no? Si Casey, tinuruan ko rin. Nung gumraduate ng college, lahat ng inipon niya na ininvest ko, binigay ko sa kanya in the form of a check or two kasi may ibang currencies. Kung depende sa exchange rate, pinapalipat ko, pinapakonvert ko, but I gave it all to her na walang bawas. So, and, and she listened to me too. So, she has real estate investments. So, that's really good. Do not invest in things you do not understand. So, Basta food, clothing, shelter, yan ang pinaka-stable. Shelter, real estate. Okay, bahay, lupa, um, na pwedeng tayuan. Tapos, yan ang mga basic. Food, syempre, pagkain. Kaya kahit karinderya lang. Or if you have one specialty food, kunyari lasagna, or macaroni, or something that you can sell, mag-Instagram lang kayo and you get orders if you want to stay at home. I used to do that with my cakes, yung carrot cakes ko. There was a time no one knew I was the one baking them and I was supplying a restaurant. So, I had that because I had time on my hands no Hindi ako masyadong busy. Ang taba ako. I was doing it. Mami, lumabas na yung asap ng carrot cake ni Sharon. So, and that happened kasi ang daming recipes ng carrot cake, I tested several and I picked the best one and I tweaked it sa panlasang Pinoy kasi hindi sobrang tamis ang gusto natin. And then my frosting, na, 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 this is, you know, so, babawasan ko dito, dadagdagan ko dito, and it became a unique uh, flavor, uniquely flavored cake that everyone loves now. So, I hope to motivate myself back to the kitchen, back into my kitchen, because I kind of lost, you know, when my mama passed away. Bihirang bihira na ako magluto. Um, if you have a specialty food, yun lang yun, i-costing nyo paano. Um, ang ingredients nyo, bibili kayo kunyari ng pasta, kunyari lasagna noodles. Magkano'ng bili nyo doon? Gagamitin nyo ba yung buong yun for for gaano kalaking maraming aluminum pans na foil rather foil pans na um, nagagamit okay, na nagagamit um nakasing laki ng mga Pyrex di ba kung magbebenta ka it's best to use those um they're disposable but since we're Pinoy we can reuse them so okay foil pans na measure nyo kung gaano karami doon sa ingredients na kailangan ng recipe ang kakailangan niyo Tapos, do not ignore the cost of your labor. You can add another 100% kasama na yung gas o electricity na ginagamit sa oven o stove top. Materyales sa packaging, kasama na yung pan, uh, at syempre ingredients. Tap. Ang gagawin nyo doon, i-measure nyo kung gano'n, ito, compute-compute nyo, kung ganito, ka mahal, ka, ganito karami yung pasta ang kailangan ko, so ganito, or hindi mo ubus lahat, so ilang portions lang, so ito yung costing divided by, ganon. Kung cake, ilang cups ba ng flour ang nasa isang bag ng flour, na ganito ang size, or kung may weighing scale kayo, mas mabuti. Um, tapos, i-divide, divide nyo na naman, ilang cups ang kailangan sa recipe nyo, ganon ang gagawin nyo lang, yun ang costing, and then, don't ignore your labor, kasi your labor is worth something, hindi mabubuo yung kung walang trabaho nyo. And then, banana queue, just ko turon on the side, di ba? Ako, may nagtatanong sa'yo, what about franchising? I am not so hot and heavy on franchising unless you really are knowledgeable um, about the restaurant business. Kasi nangyayari yung franchise source ang kumikita, ikaw hindi lagi. So, if you don't understand the business, don't get into it. Dream ko magka-restaurant, but since I don't have... I don't know how to run it, and I know it's very time-consuming. It takes 100% of your devotion and your time, and your, ah, uh, you have to be eagle-eyed kasi merong, merong pagnanakaw, merong, uh, you know, the way that yung, yung, yung safety at health standards kailangan na may maintain, yung cleanliness, yung service, okay ba? If you can't, if you don't have the time for that, please don't get into it. Start small. Uh, if you like baking or making casseroles, uh, pasta dishes, you can sell them. There are many on Instagram and Facebook. May kita nyo kung makita sa ganon. Home cooking, home cooked meals na um, kahit magaling kayo magluto, minsan gusto nyo ibang, ibang panlasa na hindi sobrang mahal, marami po dyan. So you can do that by yourself. Uh, that's, that's a nice thing. Kung mahilig naman kayong bumiyahe around Asia, alam nyo kung saan bibili, like yung mga markets in Bangkok, let's say you get 
okay or good quality clothing na hindi sobrang mahal. You can do that spenta nyo dito, may patong na kasi you have to consider the price of your plane ticket unless you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of miles in your mileage bank then uh, magastos din yon pati yung hotel mo expenses mo maraming ganun or sabi nila mura sa Taytay at sa DV meron ako mga kilala ng mga storya na babasa ko noon pa magazine articles na bibili ng ng mga not everybody kasi has the patience the time lalo na sa traffic ngayon uh, to go as far as Taytay or to Divisoria and by, um, you know, have the patience to go through kung anong-anong mga pieces of clothing doon para i-resell. Pero maraming willing bumili sa inyo kasi hindi lahat nga gusto rin mag-shopping ng ganong kalayo at daanin yung traffic. If you're willing to go through that, maganda rin idea yon. Ang akin is, always start small. Hindi lahat ng kinita mo, ibubuhos mo. Para pag hindi nag-work out, hindi ganong kasakit. Meron ka pang extra. Tapos, I have never ever gone into gambling. Ayoko yon yung bisyo, pagsusugal, or ano man yung kawawala mo ng pera na walang saisay. It's so sad, di ba? Um, I'd rather save the money. Tapos, kung kaya mo nga mag-save ng walang utang, mas mabuti. But why are banks there? It's okay, may interest. Kung isipin mo yung interest, merong ano yan eh. Um, Especially if it's real estate. The first utang I ever took out was for my home in Wakwak before. In Mandalu, yung Wakwak village. It was a big amount. And my, my loan was for five years. I was able to pay it off in three. Kasi ayaw kami utang. Pero see, you're able to enjoy this piece of property and make improvements on it if you have extra money. Um, nang kumukuha ka pa ng pera at hinuhulugan mo. Kaya yung interest, okay lang yun kasi oras yung inutang mo eh. Oras, ma-enjoy mo to ng mas maaga habang nagbabayad ka doon. And you know, if you have your, earn, your earning capacity, alam mo yun. So that's, you know, that's a safe, safe investment. But as they say, kung makakaipon ka naman at di ka nauutang, talagang the best naman yun. Pero hindi lahat tayo ay pwedeng ganon. Pero after that first time na nagka-courage akong umutang at nabayaran ko, wala na akong takot. <laughs> Basta alam mo na meron kang trabaho at meron kang earning power sa kahit anong in, uh, investments mo, may paupahan ka or something, at ito ay makaka-cover sa expenses mo na pagbayad ng utang at na may interest, okay lang yon good utang yon Ang bad utang is uutang ka kasi may utang ka dahil sumugal ka or may luho ka, inuuna yung social, di ba yung... Anong tawag dyan? Mga status symbols inuuna kaysa dun sa mga necessities. I've never been like that. So, hindi ako bibili ng isang Mercedes-Benz unless kaya kang bumili ng sampo. Parang gano'n. Hindi ako bibili ng mahal na bag unless kaya kang bumili ng mas marami nun. Isa lang bibili ko muna. Yung gano'n ba? Um, yung kung ano yung kaka-happy mo. Remember this rule. Money is not evil. It's people who are evil. Money, on the other hand, Never become a slave to your money. You make money your slave. I like money. Why? Because money allows me, and it's hard-earned money, it's honest work that I earn this money from. So your money is able, is, it allows you to give your loved ones gifts or go on, you know, you make memories with your family na... Um, mag-travel kayo, kahit dito lang sa Pilipinas or dyan lang sa resort, dyan sa malapit, sa Antipol, wherever na, you make memories. Kasi pagdating ng araw, mamamatay na tayo, hindi mo na maisipin, ako yung building ko sa ganun, ay yung condo ko sa, ay yung bahay. Isipin mo, ay ako yung mga anak ko. Yun ang ating ano. So, always, always, if you respect money, pero hindi mo sinasamba, parang paru-paru yan, lalapit sa'yo. Pag ikaw ang humabol ng humabol sa puro-puro, dahil tawag nga nila doon ay mukhang pera, lalayo ng lalayo sa yon. At kung ikaw ay magnanakaw ng pera para lang mabili mo ang gusto mo, babalik at babalik sa yon. At sana sa'yo bumalik, hindi sa mga pinakamamahal mo sa buhay. So kahit I will choose konting pera na honestly and hard-earned kesa doon sa hindi naman iyo kinuha mo kautos na din yun, thou shalt not steal, ba? So, it's, if you just obey, 
the rules. Um, and you work hard. Kasi, sorry, ah, meron kasi parang, oh, doon ako lalapit sa may pera kasi nagmimigay naman yan, ganyan-ganyan. Nawawalan ka na ng dignity at hindi ka na gumagalaw ng sarili mo. Merong mga taong ganun. And that's very sad. Um, like, we don't spoil our children kasi you're also giving them life skills. Pag wala na kayo, marunong silang maghanap buhay. So, kahit maliit lang, yun muna po ang gawin nyo. The safest ones, pagka nagtatrabaho pa kayo, especially if you're young, you know, if you're like 20 or 30, in your 20s or 30s, mas yayaman pa kayo sa amin na matagal na nandito if you start managing your money correctly. Dahil, um, you have the gift of youth and all the years to come. And there's such a thing as the power of compounding. Ano yun? Naglagay ka sa banko, hindi mo ginalaw yung pera, may interest, di ba? Um, yung 100 mo, kunwari next, ano, in a couple of months, magkano na yon papatungan pa ng interest na kinikita at papatong, at papatong, at papatong. The safest is to go into time deposit with a bank with 30 days, 60 days, 90 days na hindi mo gagalawin kung nandyan lang naman yung extra money mo kesa papasok ko sa negosyo na hindi mo naintindihan at sinusugal mo. Ngayon, kung talaga natuto ka, you did your homework, then go, by all means, sige, mag-start ng maliit na negosyo. Marami po ko na-interview na ganyan sa show ko noon na nag-start ng maliit, um, like yung mga pastel sa uh, Cagayan, de Oro, di ba, no? Na-interview ko po yung nag-umpisa, wala silang oven nun, so sa lata nila na binibake yung ano, sa lata ng mga gatas noon, at open fire, nagawa nila yun. Tapos ngayon, it's a big, big company with so many branches and outlets. So, that's an example. It's a good example of a good food business. Start small, aralin nyo lahat, tapos kung gusto nyo palakihan, sige. Pero, ganun ka simple. Huwag agad-agad papasok sa negosyo kung di naiintindihan. Kahit may tiwala ka sa tao, minsan yun ang money. Actually, it's not the money. It's people na pag nag-iwan ka ng parang temptation para sa kanila, they take advantage of it. Sabi nga nila, mat malalaman mo ang tunay na pagkatao ng kaibigan mo or kasamahan mo um, pag meron ng perang involved. So, nakakalungkot pag because of money may nasisirang relationship diba, or friendship or pagtitiwala. Sabi naman, amin ko lang ganito, if you lose your money, you lose a lot. If you lose your friends, you lose more. If you lose your name, you lose everything. So, Pagpera yung topic ng pagkasira ng pangalan mo. Kakahiya, di ba? So, um, nobody's perfect. Lahat tayo may pagkakamali sa buhay. Ano ba mga downfall nyo? Ako puso. <laughs> habang tumata. Habang lumalaki actually. Nung bata pa ako, habang tumata. Habang yung heart ko, ganyan. Kapahamakan minsan na, hi, ganyan. Parang na broken hearted na naman ako. Or ganyan. Uh, and then Kiko came along. Uh, sa ating iba naman ay pera. Pag meron ng ano, ay mabibili ko na yung gusto kong shoes or yung bag o yung relong gusto ko pag nakuha ko to. So kahit di iyo, matatempt ka dahil nandyan na. Uh, nangyari na sa amin yan, sa mga migdali ko at sa akin at sa aming lahat. Uh, so ingat lang also. Um, nasa sa inyo yun kung gusto nyo yung umasenso. Everybody has a talent and a gift na nung pinanganak tayo, regalo na ni God yun. So, hanapin nyo lang, ano ba yung happy-happy kayo pag ginagawa nyo? Do you like drawing? Maybe you can, you can draw cartoon versions or illustrations of your friends and see kung magugustuhan nila. And later on, they will buy your drawings from you. They will order from you mga, siguro sets of stationery if you know how to draw um, or paint. That's, that's a nice thing. And uh, like, for me, for instance, of course, I've invested in some paintings of masters and, you know, great painters, popular ones, famous ones. But I also have paintings na kasi gusto ko lang. Nagustuhan ko, na, nagustuhan ko lang siya kahit walang pangalan yung gumawa. At I proudly display them along with the uh, more, you know, more valuable paintings. But uh, whatever is beautiful in my eyes will be in my home. And I have very simple, ano. And I have kids, so I have to put covers on my furniture because my kids are 
my little boy. <laughs> they, they're still small, so I want them to enjoy the house. I love them more than our home, more than where we live. So, right, love? Mm -hmm. Always children first before material things. So, they're more valuable to me than my furniture, obviously. I really don't I, care. Right? I have a car what I can ride, but sometimes I crash into things. Yeah, and then we have them fixed, right? Yeah. And when you break a toy, we don't always buy you a new one. Yeah, See? sometimes I just fix it. Like, yeah. Like the car, it broke down because mm -hmm. there was like a, a wire problem. Mm -hmm. I got to fix it again. He's talented that way. He really is. He knows his cars. Um, so, ganon, we don't, hindi yung porque meron kang pagkukunan. Papakita mo sa mga anak mo na, oh, sige, pag nasira mo yung bibili ko agad yung kapalit. No, no love. We're very strict about that. Para matuto silang ingatan yung gamit nila. And, uh, our, my dad was mm -hmm. going to but, uh, give some money to someone to build it, fix yeah. it. But I just use tape to fix it. Yeah, he's happy with that. Kasi pag siya rin gumawa, he's proud of it. Right, love? And then, di ba, I told them that we were selling ice candy. Yeah. Di ba, love? What were you saving for? A punching bag. Pa yeah, yung punching bag, like me no money. <laughs> punching bag, tsaka boxing gloves. Yun ang pinag-ipunan niya, tapos tinilungan niya siya. The next time, I'm just gonna save up for remote control for a new one car. Ayun, nagsasave up siya for a racing car na remote control. Great job, honey. Anyway, see, those are little things na maganda pang ehemplo sa mga anak natin yun. So, show them the value of hard work and pagsisikap, and starting small and growing it. Kesa dun sa papasukin mong malaki, tapos hindi mo naiintindihan. Kahit trusted mo yung tao, dapat may kaalaman ka rin. So, I hope I've answered kahit yung basic questions nyo. Um, kung meron pang mga detalye, iisipin ko kung ano pa yung matasya-share ko sa inyo. But usually, ganun, mas maganda maging konservatibo, lalo kung nagsisimula pa lang. And if you start, the earlier you start saving and investing, let's say, Kung di kayo masyadong knowledgeable about kunyari stocks or you don't have that big of an amount to have someone manage it, then time deposit muna, treasury bills, keep them there because they earn more interest than you would in a mere savings account. But basta huwag nyo gagalawin. Tapos kung anong kinikita, 10% should go to your church and then give yourself also kung kinikita mo ay sampo, kung kaya mong gasusin doon lima lang, mas makabubuti dahil maiipon mo yung lima pa. Yung konting pagsisikip ng sinturon, tightening your belt uh, sa umpisa, hindi nyo alam po anong magagawa nun in the long run. Tapos hindi yung porke may kita ka, syempre you treat yourself, hindi yung parang hindi na-adjust mo yung pera, hindi mo na ini-enjoy. Treat yourself, manood ka ng sine, once in a while kumain ka sa labas, pero kung ang ibig sabihin nito ay maguguto naman kayo for the next week, huwag niyo munang gawin, di ba? Kasi mas masarap mag-enjoy ng kinita at bumili ng gusto ninyo, different from sa kailangan ninyo, yung gusto ninyo. Yung mabibili nyo yung gusto ninyo, pag kaya nyo ng asikasuhin lahat ng pangangailangan na meron pang natitira at darating yung panahon na yun, basta nag-iipon kayo. Okay, guys, um, have a night. So, I'll think of other things about money that I can share with you. I love you, and I hope that you pick up something from this and that it helps you somehow. Uh, God bless you, and I hope you subscribe to our channel. And we hope that you give this video a thumbs up. Say bye, bye. lovey. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching us. Yes, thank you. We love you. God bless.